Why do I keep torturing myself with online dating? I, mean, I meet up with some of them for a drink, and, and they're perfectly nice gentlemen, but there's zero chemistry. I'm getting like a hundred messages a day. This one guy said that he would gladly walk barefoot across a desert of shattered glass just to prove himself to me. Another guy said he would swim across a crocodile infested river if I was on the other side. After a couple months, you get good at spotting the fake profiles. They'll have just like one photo with perfect studio lighting. Always a bridesmaid, that's me. Is my Prince Charming out there somewhere? Hello? <sighs> and of course, she looks like a movie star. Kind of chick would only date you if you were a famous athlete or a tech billionaire. Just for the hell of it, I used to send messages to those women who look like models. You know, the fake profile damsels in distress who can't seem to find their soulmate. We would excite and cherish my special prince one day is finding me. I got a few generic responses back and something vaguely resembling the English language. Oh, Barry, my handsome prince, it is excite and cherish dream of perfect love with us. Finish of nursing school with need, support, and prayer. Then we together bridge forever, you and us to be. For this I weep. I wanted to write back, no, I'm not seeking a mail-order bride, and no, I will not wire you money. Hi, Barry. I just can't seem to get you out of my mind. Pardon me if this is too forward. Just wanted to say I think you're the funniest and definitely the sexiest guy I've had the pleasure of chatting with online. Whoops, now the cat is out of the bag. XOXO, Stacy. You click on their profile the next day and it's vanished. <laughs>